Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And now my question of today is what country are you watching this video from? Let me know in the comment section down below. Bonus points if you also place another comment in a different language. Let's just see if you can, you know, can type some different language. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> Let's see what you can do. All right. And I appreciate all of you guys who just wanted to briefly say that. Now, first of all, XRP Crypto Wolf just posted this over on Twitter. U.S. controller of the currency, Brian Brooks, said, If the U.S. engages the private sector, we believe it should embrace and demand the model that worked for the early internet. And here it comes, open source and interoperable technology standards. Boom. Yeah, guys, that is an amazing piece to come out here. That is an amazing piece of news. This can be interpreted in multitude of ways. However, one of the ways I see it at this point is these guys do not want to be left behind on CBDCs. They're trying their best and they're more and more hinting towards a Ripple standard. I know, I know, hate me for it for saying it is, but I've also earlier today asked on Twitter, do you guys consider a, a XRP bridge or do you not even consider it at all? Because every time I read this, every time I check it, I'm like, wow, this makes sense. This makes sense. The more reports come out, the more connections are being made, the more I convince myself. But let me know if I'm being a lunatic. All right. Do you think I'm completely crazy for thinking that XRP is really a, a good competitor to, to bridge all these CBDCs? I don't know. The links, in my opinion, are just too solid. I, I really can't get it out of my head so if i'm becoming crazy you gotta let me know a quick reality check then peter mccormick shared on twitter a couple of names kanye west knows adam curry knows joe rogan knows ice cube knows snowden knows elon musk knows and at jack knows those are some uh, pretty big names in the space why because they have a lot of influence now these guys actually have done Kind of little to nothing for crypto itself, but they've just popularized it. And that kind of brought me to a very important point, and that is that it's really not about those big billionaire guys that, you know, I guess have no influence that you don't even know about that are buying it. Those will be good for the bigger institutions buying it, but that's not what's going to get you massive adoption. That's what's going to get you money in the game. That's what's going to get you higher prices. Okay but not massive adoption. If a lot of billionaires are buying into it, it still could be that crypto will have the exact same amount of people in there. It's really once you start to see, uh, you know, people with great influence in, in, in big herds talking about it, that you're going to start to see millions, if not, you know, hundreds of millions of people hop on in, come on in, because they, they had somebody they know get into it. You know, a lot of people are Kanye West fans and I, I don't have the numbers on this one, but I can bet your ass, or my own ass, I guess, that because of his appearance on Joe Rogan, a lot of people have decided to get into Bitcoin. Some might argue that Bitcoin moves are not good for XRP. I like to debate that one. I think all publicity for Bitcoin is publicity for crypto in general, which is good for XRP and literally every other coin out there. But again, we can uh, disagree on that one. But I think this stuff is, is a lot more important than they make it out to be. He's, of course, forgetting a lot of people. Like, this is just a very small list with no real relevance because there's been way more. What's the actor that was on Ellen giving her $4 million? What's his name again? I don't quite remember, but that's also a spearhead thing. Literally, there's there's a ton of others. Matthew Mellon, maybe? Guys that have had a lot of influence and a lot of following. But maybe because these guys are the really big followings, except for Adam. Maybe also Adam, I don't know. I, I mean, it, on Twitter, that is. Kanye West, 30 million. Joe Rogan here, maybe like 6 or 8. Yeah, 6.8. Huh. Ice Cube here, 5.6. Snow Dan, uh, 4.3. Elon Musk, 40 million. Jack, I guess Jack's the founder, so yeah, 5 million. These guys, are, wait, what? He actually has Bitcoin in his bio. That's also pretty interesting. Mm, I didn't even know about that one. 
Point is, though, these guys have a lot of following. Uh, talking about the companies, by the way, I don't think these really matter too much. Because a lot of these companies just get into crypto to increase their valuation. If we're talking about guys making a dent into the space by you know, being very, very open and public, I would say Galaxy Digital has done a very good job at promoting crypto. And PayPal has done a very, very good job because they are reaching tons of people. A lot of these ones I don't even know. So you know, I don't think they're that groundbreaking. They might be doing some good stuff, but they're not really groundbreaking to get many people in. Uh, then, let's see here, how XRP gets its true value. All the money, revealing the global path. Uh, yeah, I, I personally just want to ask you guys what you see in this type of stuff and what's going on here. Because this is part of a bigger picture, right? But what, what picture is it from? Where did this come from? What is it all about? Because I don't know, but I, I would like to see the full thing. Patience is the key to success. XRP the standard, all the money, zero doubt. I'm just wondering where this is from. You got to let me know in the comment section though because I, I want to see more of this XRP true value stuff. It reads there, how XRP gets its true value, all the money revealing the global path. Man, that stuff is quite exciting. So I want to know, what's the full pick about? Let me know in the comment section if you know about it. Or even on Twitter, that would be better. Dow Jones now losing ground as daily cases surpass you know a certain number. Uh, I don't want to say those things out loud because I you know think it might you know maybe break my YouTube channel. I don't even know. But the Dow Jones is off after the number of cases hit a record high over the weekend. And uh, you know a thing across the Sun Belt states continues to rise according to data. Concerns that the U.S. will be unable to contain it were echoed over the weekend by the White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows. More on everything moving the Dow Jones today below, which is all in here. And yeah, there's some crazy moves being made right now in all of this going on, which is uh, definitely something I am considering, and hopefully you guys are too, uh, with, with, with the, the way that things are going right now. But you know, all in all, one of the things I wonder about the most is what will the correlation look like eventually, and how will everything be recovering from this? I know I'm showing you an article right now, which kind of does not have to do too much with my story, but this whole article talks about stimulus. This whole article talks about cases. This whole article talks about markets and their correlation and everything. I'm like, right now, the world is at a completely different point than it was a year ago. How is it going to be looking like in one year? What would happen to crypto if, we, if, if those stocks were to completely fall because of the CV? And would the CV have a negative CV? Hopefully, you guys know what I mean with that. You know, CV is an abbreviation. What will CV have in terms of an impact on crypto? Will stocks falling drag crypto along, or will they really survive and you know go to the moon because of all that stuff? I'm wondering, but I just don't know. But if you have some idea or whatever your idea is, put it down below. Let's let's discuss. Ripple. Partnership with Flare Finance opens DeFi market for XRP. Flare Networks-based DeFi protocol will launch six products to add utility to the digital asset XRP and the Spark token. Flare Finance products will use a multi-token ecosystem to provide governance and rewards to all users. You know, whenever I read this, I just more and more convince myself that these guys are money-hungry, because... If you guys have seen the distribution of Spark, it's dumb. And the fact that they're launching more products, which will require more tokens and more money for them, it's a it's a freaking smart idea. I wish I had this idea to also extract a lot of money from unknown investors. The, the only thing that they do well is, you know, giving it away for free so people already have it and have some use to hold it. But damn, are they going to make a couple of billion of dollars? Damn. Are they smart? It's it's literally one of the biggest ideas I've, I've seen in a good while. They're going to be instant billionaires if, if Spark pops off, which is very, very smart. They have more than half of the distribution. And they're launching more and more stuff because more people just get it. And they're also some DeFi stuff, which I really don't support in, in the XRP case. So, again, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't accept this too much. But some of you guys like it, which I don't really get, but all right. The PayPal effect. Billionaire Chamath Palip and Libra chief believe banks will support Bitcoin. Banks can't ignore Bitcoin any longer 
after the PayPal announcement, says Social Capital CEO Chamath Pali and head of Facebook's Libra, David Marcus. This stuff we, we got into for a little bit earlier today, as is just the fact that more and more banks are hopping on, more and more banks are hearing about it, and it's going to become increasingly hard to uh, ignore it and not move along with the standard. I think you all also understand that the saying of, if everybody adopts it and you're not doing it, you're most likely going to be left behind. All right, now, of course, the saying goes a little bit different, but you get the picture. Thing here as well, PayPal moving in will require a lot of other guys to at least make some move into crypto, right? As, as, as custodial services providers and everything along those lines, they can't leave crypto out anymore. It's going to be against the standard and they'll, they'll be left. So a lot of stuff is going to be coming shortly. The new bull market officially begins. Analyst reveals next price target for Bitcoin in this new cycle. Again, a pretty interesting title. Um, the bear market is officially over after this weekly close, although the structure since the last huge drop, March, indicated that we were starting the new bull market. In my opinion, tomorrow the new bull market officially begins. Congrats, the next target is 30k. What I have to say about this one is, if you actually take a little bit of a look at how Bitcoin has performed over maybe year to date or you know uh, the last year, if you consider this from March on forward, it's actually been a really, really positive line, a really interesting um, upwards channel, at least, you know, a very big bullish channel that you could make right here. It's pretty damn interesting if you consider, right, how good this is all moving along. And by the way, if you were to connect these dots here a little bit, I think the, the line would go something like this. Yeah, it's looking pretty damn good. The outlook is looking pretty damn positive, and I'm, I'm definitely quite excited to see what this is going to bring. Ultimately... I'm going to also say it doesn't matter too much what this chart is looking like because, well, any any big move by some big players can change everything. I mean, we just saw PayPal hop in, and I'm quite convinced that that was a, a major game changer, getting the prices up. But again, you might argue with me on that one as well, like you guys always like to do. Always in the comment section, they're like, no, you're completely wrong. What you're saying is dumb. I'm like, man, it's just my opinion. I don't know. You know, if I'm wrong, just let me know nicely. I'll, I'll try to get back to it, you know, but I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. People like to hate on it first before, uh, you know, going on with logic. Whatever. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And also check out my other channels. Growth Masters Academy, 5-Minute Crypto. Those things are important, guys. They're all for you. Completely free. No ads, no nothing. It's just for fun because I like to do that type of stuff. But, you know, check it out. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care. And have a very nice day.